Hi everyone. Solving systems of two equations in two unknowns could be a tedious task. You can use either elimination method, substitution method, Kramer's rule, Gaussian elimination, or even trial and error. How much more if you are asked to solve systems of five equations in five unknowns? Hi, this is Lando Assistant. In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve this special case of systems of five equations in five unknowns. Let's begin. Solve these systems of five equations in five unknowns. This is a special case. To begin our solution, let's call the first equation as equation 1, the second equation 2, and 3, 4, and 5 respectively. If you're going to add all these equations vertically, like this, let's add 2v plus v plus b plus v plus b. In the first column, we got 6v. Let's add also all the terms at the second column to get 6w. The third column is added to 6x. The fourth column is added to 6y. And the last column of the left side of the equation is added to 6z. Equals the sum of the right side, which is 30. Notice that 6 is a common factor, so we can factor that out. And we arrive at 6 times the quantity v plus w plus x plus y plus z equals 30. And dividing both sides by 6, we arrive at v plus w plus x plus y plus z equals 30 divided by 6, which is 5. Now, let's remember this value. The sum of all these five variables is equal to 5. Now, let's focus on equation number 1 and these results that we arrive at. So, we have this equation 1 at the top, and we have this value of the five variables equals 5 at the bottom. Let's rewrite equation 1 in such a way that this result we have at the bottom can be grouped together like this. We can split this 2v as v plus v. So the 2v is now this v plus b that is equal to this. And we just copy w plus x plus y plus z. Then copy the right side equals 4. But we know the value of this sum that is equal to this 5. So therefore, we just have to copy the v and replace this sum by 5 because that's the result that we arrive at. And then copy equals 4. And finally, we arrive at v equals 4 minus 5, which is negative 1. So we now have the value of v, and that is equal to negative 1. Let's put that aside. Next, let's look at equation number 2. This is equation number 2. And let's reorganize again the terms in such a way that this sum is grouped together because we know the value of that is 5. So let's do it this way. Split this 2w as w plus w, and then copy the v plus x plus y plus z, and that's equal to 5. But again, this is equal to 5, so we have w plus 5 equals 5, which gives us w equals 0. So we now have the value of w, and let's put this aside. Then let's go to equation number 3. This was equation number 3 in the given. And let's split this 2x as x plus x again, like this. And this part inside the parentheses is equal to 5. And so we have x plus 5 equals 6, or x is equal to 6 minus 5 equals 1. So the value of x is 1. Let's put that aside also. So far, we now have three results here by using equations 1, 2, and 3. Now, we need more space, so let's put these values here at the right. Let's visit equation number 4. This is our equation number 4. And we split again this 2y as y plus y to arrive at this. And this sum inside the parentheses is equal to 5. So we have y plus 5 equals 7, which gives us y is equal to 2. So y is equal to 2. Then lastly, go to equation number 5. Split this 2c as z plus c to arrive at this. This sum inside the parentheses is equal to 5. So we have z plus 5 equals 8. Or z is equal to 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. And that is the value of z. So at this point, we now have all the values of the variables. v equals negative 1, w equals 0, x equals positive 1, y equals 2, and z equals 3. Now, to check if this is correct, we can substitute any of these values to any of these five equations, and we should be able to come up with a correct equation. Let's just check with one of these equations. Let's choose equation number three. If b equals negative one, this is negative one, w is zero, 
x is 1, so this becomes 2 times 1, which is 2, y is 2, and z equals 3. We can add negative 1 plus 0 is negative 1, negative 1 plus 2 is positive 1, positive 1 plus 2 is positive 3, 3 plus 3 equals 6, which is correct. And you can check also these values in any of these equations, and you will notice that these results are correct. Now, this systems of five equation is just a special case. You cannot use this method alone if the equation is more complicated. But in general, when you have too many equations and there are too many unknowns, Gaussian elimination is usually the more efficient method.